What's up guys? What is the current state of Atlas in 2020? Um, quiet! <laughs> that's, that's all we can really say. It's not great, it's not dead. Um, but let's go from the point of view if you're thinking about buying the game. Um, if you like sandbox survival games, you like building things, you like taming stuff, you like doing some boss fights and you like PvP, then um, buy Atlas. It's, there's no reason not to. It's great. It works fine for the most part. Obviously it's got a few bugs. But um, overall, it's definitely worth buying if you're into that genre of game. I absolutely love survival games, and this is probably my favourite survival game. Um, and I'm not ashamed to say that I absolutely love it. I've wanted a game like Atlas for a long, long time. And um, it's not perfect. It's got a long way to go to hit its full potential. But um, it's a great game, and I, I honestly would never advise on not buying it if you like survival games. Why would you? If you've played the game a long time, since release for example, you're probably wanting some fresh content and, and that is completely fair enough. We haven't seen anything really like content wise, we haven't seen anything new for quite some while. We had uh, a new item in the last patch, the Flame Ballistas, which was really for the PvP side of the game if anything. But yeah, we definitely want a lot more. Um, I've recently been looking through older posts from the development team and trying to find what is going on and trying to find any little hints on what we can expect. And I did come across, I don't know how I missed this at the time, from August last year, uh, 2019, a roadmap video where they talked about the roadmap they've got in place for Atlas and what they were intending to do. And they broke it down into four phases. And they also said that's not going to be all the phases, but that's the four they're working on at the moment. Now my question now is, what phase are we in? Because when you look through that, um, there are like certain things it looks like they've kind of done and bought to the game, and then there's parts of it that are missing, and it's really hard to try and work out where we're at. Um, I'm going to do another video going over that video, and um, we'll, I'll break it down into each phase, so each video will be like phase one, and next will be phase two, etc. And we can have a look at it like that, but I'll put some images on the screen now for you know what was the takeaway from that um, roadmap kind of thing. But they did say in there that they didn't want to put any new content out until the game was in a much more stable state. And the reasoning for that was that if they put things on top of a game too early when they then they won't be able to like adjust it later or tweak it or change it very easily it'll be a lot more work they also said that with new ships they also mentioned in this video new ships and uh, they wanted to bring out some different types of ships as well as what we've already got in game at the moment which is the raft the dinghy the sloop the schooner the brigantine and the galleon and they want to add to that and um, but they said again they wouldn't want to do that until the ocean was in a more stable state and they had fixed some bugs with that and issues and made that how they want it because it would make modifying them later harder for when they like have problems with it. Um, it will be easier to get the game in a stable state, use what they've got now, polish what they've got, get it nice and stable and then add to it. And um, I've been playing um, Star Citizen which is a game in really early access in alpha stage and um, they they do take their alpha stage as putting in the building blocks for the game and a lot of people don't like that because they think they want it all working now and they want the bugs fixed and they want this and they want this and they want new content and all of that kind of stuff and the developers are just trying to get the building blocks in to, to polish it up and add things to it later when a game goes into beta typically is when they polish everything and get it ready for release Atlas is obviously already out in early access, um, so it's already gone through beta. But um, it, the same thing kind of applies, I think, is what they're saying. That they want to get what they've got now stable so they can add to it later and make a better game. And um, so I don't think we're going to see any new content until they get to a further phase. But like I said, I don't know what phase we're in and I, I can't really work it out. Um, if you guys have seen anything where they've mentioned this anywhere, then let me know. But as far as I can find so far, 
it's just a guessing game and trying to work out where we are in the map yourself by looking at the different phases. My point being, they wasn't going to bring any new content out until the game's in a more stable state in their eyes. And I mentioned a minute ago about um, the last patch bringing out the Ballista Bolt, the um, Flame Ballista Bolt, sorry. That led me to think when that patch came out that we're going to see a new patch within the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm recording this in well on the 25th of May. I think we're going to see a patch somewhere in June. The last patch was two months ago almost, so the last few patches have been two months apart. And I imagine we're going to see one in June. And fingers crossed we do. It'll, um, you know, it's nice to get a new patch and to remind everyone they're still working on the game. And um, I'll go on to that in a moment. But the reason I mentioned the patch being every two months is because you constantly see talk within the Atlas community, and it's normally from people that either aren't playing or they're just, I'll be honest, trolls. <laughs> and I don't know what they're doing, just trying to stir up people. I don't know. But they'll say the game is dead and all this stuff, and. The game's still being developed, and the, before the last patch came out, we was getting the game's dead, they're not developing it, blah blah blah, a patch comes out, and the same day they're still saying the game's dead, they're not developing it. So, you know, there's no pleasing some people, and some people, let's be honest, just go out of their way to try and rile people up, ruffle a few feathers and get a reaction. And, um, yeah, the game isn't dead, let's just be clear, the game isn't dead. Um, on the player base side of things, it's very quiet. I play on PVE EU Official on Whale Solitude, and there's a good little community on there. Notice I said little community there because it is quite small. But having said that, you can go sailing around and you'll bump into people. You can land on random islands and you'll probably bump into someone. Um, so there is players there, but I know the PvP side of things is a lot more quiet. And a lot of that's to do with... You know, PvP in general on any game is very um, toxic and full of trolls, let's be honest. Um, anywhere where someone can annoy someone and make themselves feel a little better, I suppose, they, they tend to do it. And, you know, so it's funny to watch, I'll be honest. It's funny when you see that kind of thing. But at the same time, some people don't like it and they keep going back for more and more and more. And they're the people that are normally on the forums, on Discord and on stuff like that ranting and raving about how dead the game is and how trash it is and all that stuff. And like I said, the game isn't great. It's not in a great state. I'm not defending it by any means. But you have to um, try and see where people are coming from with that type of thing. And most of the negative feedback comes from the PvP side of stuff. So um, that's unfortunate, but that is the truth of it. Um, PvE is not brilliant, I'm not trying to say PvE is fine, it's the rest of it. There is a lot of issues in PvE as well, like some of it is game wide, you know, like um, the balancing on everything needs you know, needs tweaking. Um, the lack of content if you've been playing a long time, you know, a lot of it's game wide, not just PvE or PvP. Um, but like I said, if you're a new player, there's plenty to do, so don't get that wrong when you see people saying that there's nothing to do, there's no content. They're people that have either don't know what they're looking for or they've already done all the content and um, you know they're waiting for new stuff, which I completely understand. If you've been playing since the start and you completed it all within the first few months and then the new stuff come out and you completed that, you're definitely going to be waiting for new stuff. And if you're like me and you love the game and you just want to keep playing it, then you're hungry for new things. Um, but yeah, the, if you're new to the game, there's plenty to be getting on with that will keep you busy for a long time. And like I mentioned, I play on the PvE side of the game, I play on the official PvE server, and um, I can't play PvP because of my work schedule and things that I work away from home for a few days at a time, and I just can't, it's just impossible for me to do any kind of um, survival PvP, whether it's an Ark, Atlas, um, anything like that really, I, I can't, I just haven't got the time to do it. So let me know your thoughts down below, if you play on the PvP, what needs to change, what are the real issues. Again, going back to people getting trolled and getting wiped because they're not as far through the game as other tribes, for example. Take that away from it. What is actually going on? What needs addressing? Is it a balance issue? Is something's too overpowered in PvP? Um, you know, like what needs to change there? D don't leave a comment and saying, I got wiped by an alpha tribe. They're trash. Game's trash. It's dead. That's no good to anyone. It's just pointless and... You're a bit salty, I'll be honest. <laughs> but gen genuine feedback. 
I wish the development team would come out and be more transparent. If I was them and I had a game out and you know people were saying the game's dead and it's not being developed and just all this negativity around it, I would be trying to at least chip in a little bit and saying, hang on guys, look, we're doing this. Um, and the game is being developed, it's not dead. And you know, just come out and speak to the community, like have some sort of input. Because at the moment, everyone's saying the game's dead and there's no response from the development team other than these random patches. I say random, they seem to be every two months. Um, other than that, there's no communication. So obviously, when you're saying that and the player base is low, it kind of looks dead. So if I was them, like I said, I would be out just saying like, hello, we're still here and we're thinking about doing this. What would you like to see? Maybe a Q&A like once every month or something. I mean... They used to do, they started doing the captain's log, didn't they, with um, Jat. And, um, you know, something like that would go a long way, I think. I mean, obviously you're going to have to deal with some of the trolls that the games always seem to, um, you know, pull in. Um, but it would at least show you the serious players and people that love the game that, you know, there's nothing, that they're still developing the game. Just in summary then, current state of the game in Atlas 2020. It's stable, it's playable. If you're new to the game, there's a lot of content to get on with. If you're an older player, as in you've been playing for a long time, you're probably waiting for some fresh content. And the answer to when we're going to get it is when they decide the game's stable enough. And if you think about it, I know, for example, you're going to some servers at the moment and you still get like the choppy ocean with your boat flying in the sky or going underneath the waves and things like that. So... They're the kind of things I think they want to address at least before they bring any new ships out because um, they made that clear in the video I referenced earlier. I'll put the link to that in the description below if you want to check it out. And as far as like bugs and things like that, when they do put these patches out, they do always fix some issues and look at stuff. So that's good. It's just a question of time of which bugs get fixed when kind of thing. Um, but they are they are actively doing things towards that so that's good it's good to know and hopefully we'll see a new patch like i said earlier in you know in the next couple of weeks i'd expect hopefully fingers crossed like i said it should be at the start of june i'd expect it but i imagine somewhere in june we'll get a new patch i have no idea whether that's true guys that's just complete speculation and the conclusion i've come to through looking through the previous patch notes and that is kind of the pattern that emerged was it's like sort of every two months so Hopefully that's what we're going to get. No idea what would be in that patch. I imagine it's going to be some more tweaks and bug fixes. Maybe we'll get another new item. That would be kind of cool. I don't know what, but um, that would be nice to get something. Overall, Atlas is alive, just about, and there is plenty of stuff to do, like I said. And, um, yeah, I still love the game, and I really hope that they do come out and start defending the game and push forwards a bit more and show people that what is going on behind the scenes or well, not even behind the scenes just what is going on and what they're aiming for i mean that would be enough really so yeah let me know what you guys think to the current state of atlas what are your thoughts on it like i said with the pvp stuff i would love to hear your feedback but please don't make it salty because you've lost your base or your your company got wiped that's related to pvp unfortunately that's part of the game so you can't go <laughs> blaming the game being trash on you getting wiped kind of thing um some genuine thoughts on it and reasons why, like I said earlier, maybe some things are too overpowered in PvP, maybe some things aren't powerful enough. Um, things like that, just genuine, honest comments. And that goes for everyone, obviously. If you've got any thoughts on the game, let me know down below. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.